This is Decorating Date Night, Season 4's big project continues. The echo, 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 that's because the carpet is gone. <laughs> I'm Dina and Troy and Dina. This is Decorating Date Night with Troy and Dina. Uh, this is the construction zone continuing. As you might recall from our latest episodes, talking about the hardwood floors, how they're going in. But first, everything had to get ripped out, and that's just what's been done. I have to say, the house has really good bones, and that's so important. Not a whole lot of squeaking, really good solid underneath this, you know, subfloors in really good shape. That's good news. In this room, carpet is going back in, but the carpet that was in there wasn't in the best shape, so we're swapping from the master bedroom where the carpet was in excellent shape and putting it in here. And already you can feel the echo being gone. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> With the carpeting. So that's what's being done in this room. This other bedroom, kind of a similar story, except this bedroom's carpeting was in great shape. So we're leaving it. This has been where we've been, you know, having contractors hang out. They're sleeping over. We're like, make yourself at home. It's all good. So that's kind of the crash zone, if you will. The only room that's not touched in the entire house. All right, let's go, let's go. You can kind of see the progress. All the carpeting has been torn out. Um, Troy, as part of the demo project, was in charge of pulling out all of the staples, right, honey, and the nails off of the stairs. How many hours did that take you? Both staircases, about six hours combined. But who's counting? But not too bad. But I have to say, they look great. You did a great job, honey. We thought it would take longer, so six hours was, was a definite win. Yeah, and it was a good workout. Three hours per staircase. <laughs> this room, again, carpet is gone. This is going to have some hardwoods in there. Can you see? Uh, yeah, okay, the light's on. going to look great. All right, let's continue on. Back staircase is being, is also ripped out. So they had the, the back staircase fully carpeted. And because of that, they chose to go with a pine as opposed to an oak, which is on the front staircase. Thankfully, because we're picking a darker color stain for this house, you can mix woods and it really doesn't affect the overall design. Typically, if you're gonna do a lighter stain on wood, you wanna do like with like. Like oak wood, you wanna do oak wood. Even the certain types of oak, light oak, red oak, white oak, you'd wanna keep everything like. But because we're doing a darker stain, we were able to get whatever was the best deal. So <laughs> that's how that rolls, which is good, because then you can do that. All right, so let's go into the master bedroom. You can kind of see this project is half on, half off. So the hardwoods are kind of being done. This is really the process. Fascinating to me, all the little tiny pieces. That's why you have to order so much extra wood. There's quite a bit of waste, but this won't be wasted. It probably makes really great um, fire pit wood for sure. It's not gonna be just tossed in a dumpster somewhere. These hardwoods are gonna continue in towards this closet. And one idea with this closet is that it could be kind of like a secret hideout. We could do like a false wall here and do built-ins somewhere and it could be like a secret hidden, you know, fun thing for the grandkids to have fun, do like a fort behind there or something. This room, so many different ideas were kind of swirling around our heads for the design of this. Thinking that this actually might be a great massive walk-in closet, and we are talking massive, but you can do a center island, you could do built-ins, you can have your shoes, you can have a section for coats, you can have a section for seasons, so you can have all your fall, all your winter, all your spring, all your summer, you can kind of literally divide it out. So this could be a spectacular walk-in closet. One idea that was also being tossed around is that maybe you do laundry in here too. So what do you do? You typically you do your laundry and then you hang your clothes up. Maybe do an entire laundry closet, sec, you know, master section, do an ironing board in here, a steamer in here, kind of thinking about all those different ideas. So this is a work in progress, kind of have to feel the space a little bit to see what's gonna be going on. One thing I do wanna point out 
You might be able to see it. Do you see the little shadowing on the wall? Tori, do you want to speak to what that is a little bit? Well, we've had several people come out to look at it and give us their guess, and we've begun to have a consensus emerge. It would appear that you can see that this is a, um, what do you call it, a shaped roof, kind of like an elevated knee wall kind of thing. And so there's not a, a, a true attic above this space. There's an attic space, but it's not a, a true attic. And so it seems that what might be happening is the flow over the ceiling and under the roof uh, in there, the airflow isn't what it should be. And it's, it's allowing for humidity to affect the, um, the two by fours that are on the other side of this wall. And the humidity is just enough that over time, it discolors the paint on the other side of the drywall. So the solution is going to be to over there, uh, you can't tell in the shot exactly, but right beyond the, the corner where the ceiling meets the wall is where the main attic is. And there, a basketball size hole can be placed in the attic between the two attic spaces so that this span can breathe into the main attic, which will dissipate the humidity and make these lines go away. Wonderful. All right, so let's go on through. The master bathroom will be tackled at another time. For now, it's working. Haven't quite figured out exactly what's going to be done in there, but it's going to be expanded for sure. So in here, everything is going to be gutted at some point and then expanded into there's yet another closet off here that'll be used for bathroom space. That'll be a different episode. Way different episode. You might have to wait till next year for that episode. <laughs> This is one of the most charming parts of the home, coming in this way and then seeing these built-ins that then you also have a bird's eye view from the front door, which is kind of fun. And then the chandelier, which from here, I wonder if that would be easier to clean, but this is going to be a bear to clean, but it needs to be cleaned <laughs> to figure that out. Yeah, that's a great idea. If we could lasso that, <laughs> I could almost reach it. Yeah. So well, if we could lasso it, pull it over enough to be able to hold it up. And clean it. That's a great idea. Only here on Decorating Day Night with Troy and Dina will you hear of lassoing a lamp, <laughs> lassoing a chandelier. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> I watch an episode of Yellowstone and see how they do it. See how they do it, yeah. <laughs> I'll call Kevin Costner. He is my friend, you know. All right, so why don't you get a shot down from here? Really cool angled staircase. And then you'll see all of the hardwood has been laid on the first floor. Yay! Cameo by Tyler. I want to say hi, Ty. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and the old flooring has been pieced in nicely, and you can see even over here, the key to making it look like it's always been there is having it staggered with not just a straight line. And that's really what makes the blending of the old wood and the new wood work. And, of course, sanding down and having it all stained at the same time at the same color. So... That's the update of this decorating date night, uh, season four, huge renovation project continuing. We hope to show you more sooner rather than later. Let's flip this camera around. All right. Here I am. <laughs> Bye for now. Decorating Bye. date night with Troy and Dina, season four.